with rentable your nft that you know today is not generating any sort of income yes now it's generating something so mm -hmm. you can use that nft also as collateral for asking for a loan so hey there did you miss out on an ethereum focus event called sepagate in beautiful part of town in milan and even if you did miss out that is okay let me start this episode with a story in the morning during a workshop at sepagate and the speaker had some minor technical issues and this one developer actually stood up and walked on stage and helped him fix it within seconds and then in the audience someone saying that oh there's him he is one of the best developer in italy and then someone said that maybe he is one of the best in europe and then i was sitting there and thinking he's not only very kind but also seems like he got skills let me get him on a podcast and then later on, we ran into each other. We had such a nice chat. So without further ado, the Web3 builder and security researcher, formal Amazon Web Services and Year Finance, let's welcome Emiliano Bonassi, who is one of the co-founders at Rentable. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Future Hour. Today we're coming to you from Sepagate 2022 from Milano. And we're so happy to have Emiliano, who is the co-founder of Rentable. We're so happy to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you so much for being here. How do you think about the event so far? Yeah, the event was amazing. I think we uh, in Italy deserve this kind of event. There are so yeah. many builders in this yeah. space and we need to, you know, gather as yeah. we did in Amsterdam with all the global community. Yes, absolutely. And I saw you there constantly at the table working with a bunch yeah, of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone is, you know, yeah. overwhelmed uh, about, yeah, you know, yeah, work yeah, and yeah, connections. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And also I saw you almost have this like cult following uh, like where you where you are and there's always like five, six other programmers are asking questions. You guys seem like have a discussion about something. Yeah, so that's the beauty of physical events. You know, you don't yeah. have just to chat, but you see also, you Yeah, know, yeah, you can interact right away. Yeah, you yeah. can like make jokes and- Yeah, and human interaction are uh, underestimated 100%. Yeah. yeah I still think so so with that said right okay before you have the following and the people that really always want to ask you questions about what you do how did you get here right I also want to know that how did you get here yeah the story is very funny because I didn't expect it to be here I mean okay. I was working in a traditional uh, product company okay uh, um, uh, search engine yeah and I, I decided okay i would like to do a move you know i already okay. knew some something about bitcoin and okay. but you know just you know as an investor yeah and then i basically i received an offer from a, okay. a crypto startup in switzerland very okay. close to here i'm okay. based in milan nice and i applied for so that's okay. it uh, that's how i entered I had as which year was this uh 2018 uh, uh, i think okay okay nice. yeah nice nice and uh that's all. I, I started yeah. as a, a DevOps guy. Yeah. So basically, I helped to. Basically, my role was to uh, deliver their hybrid exchange okay. uh, on mainnet and working okay. with together with the CTO and so on. Basically, I get interested more in the smart contract development. Okay. Yeah. In what a, really a blockchain is. Yeah. And uh, basically, I transitioned to you know leading the technical team over then okay. then helping on shaping the product okay. and then at some point in uh, 2019 yeah. we basically want to understand more about DeFi. right you know? at that right. point there was yeah. nothing in DeFi, just few yeah. protocols yeah, yeah, compound, yeah. compound talk set yeah. very few very yeah. few of them yeah so i started to study i started to participate to the telegram uh, right. you know groups and so on and basically i felt in love yeah, with yeah, the yeah. vibes, the community, right. and so on, and that's why in that moment with uh, my 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 partner Simone Conti, right. we basically built an Italian community. So we okay. built DeFi Italy here. Now it's two okay. K uh, two K members, and we provided educational content about how right. to use DeFi. Right. So yeah, I was teaching uh, at the university in okay. the high school. So I think that you know education is a key for yes. having you know. Uh, yes. 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 To, to make you know uh to enter in this space because yeah. otherwise yeah. you know it's just okay i buy this that and mm -hmm. that's i think yeah. not sustainable yeah, yeah. Okay, from that i at some point decided to uh follow another path so i i became uh, an independent builder mm -hmm. 
And in DeFi Summer 2020, I worked a lot in security. Right. So I worked with Julian, with Samsung, uh, with many other peers for explaining okay. why the acts were happening. Okay. Uh, leading some war rooms, so right. helping to save right. <laughs> okay. millions and millions of dollars yeah, during yeah, the yeah. night. Yeah, <laughs> in yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Right? Definitely insane. Reading the contract uh, yeah, line by line. Like yeah, it's insane, insane yeah, at some yeah. point. And that's, uh, and that's where I basically uh, started to build something other than you know reading and understanding okay, okay. and I started to I was one of the very first strategists in Europe okay. in December 2020 wow yeah yeah so uh, and uh, as I, I collaborate with many many projects nice, because nice. Th that's one of the beauty you know of work yes you can work for a company you can work alone I mean alone you work with a distributed team or <coughs> with several teams that yes. you know contaminate you with many ideas yes so at some point I decided you know to yeah. say okay start your own uh, product since that this idea of renting NFTs yes. without any collateral yes. seems to be good. That's why I'm here now. Okay, okay, awesome, awesome. So you're more so like the DeFi is the rabbit hole that uh, you fell in. Yeah. And then NFT is something that it seems like it makes perfect sense. And for me personally, I'm super, super interested in NFT cool. as well, right? So um, quick question just for fun, personal curiosity. When did you get your first NFT? Oh, well, I think yeah. pretty late. I think yeah. at the end of 2021. Okay. When okay. there was, you know, the yeah, big yeah, one. I yeah, was saying, yeah, okay, yeah. maybe I okay, okay. should buy some of yeah. them. Yeah, I think that the very first that I uh, minted is Mibit. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, still, you still hold it? Yeah, yeah, I okay. still hold it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, <laughs> that's yeah. a, that was a, a good decision, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The funny story is that yeah. now we are collaborating. With, with them, maybe right? it's now. Yeah, <laughs> that's, ah, funny, yeah. that's super cool. That's super yeah. cool. Nice. So yeah, exactly this moment, perfect time to pivoting a little bit. Now you say you're collaborating with them. So tell us about what Rentable is about, you know, and when you guys uh, have planned, you know, for launch and everything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, it's the perfect time to discuss about that because yes. we are launching next week. Okay, yeah. perfect. So yeah, we received the audit results from, uh, I mean, when we were uh, in Amsterdam. Yeah. So uh, th th that's the good news. So honestly, our goal is basically to lower the entry barrier for users. Absolutely. So in game items or in general for uh, all the platforms, NFTs, the barrier at some point could be very high. Yes. And for those platforms where NFT has a utility, right? Uh, we you can have different me methods for acquiring the ownership. Yes. Okay. Today we just have, you know, you can buy and right. sell an NFT. Yes. But I cannot pay just for, you know, for a few weeks for Absolutely. using it. Maybe Absolutely. for trying the game, Absolutely. for accessing to a physical event, Absolutely. Uh, or anything, anything, anything else. Yeah. So the idea is, okay, try to implement the rental yeah. and make it accessible for yeah. users, but at the same at the same time provide also value for long-term owners yeah so they can put at work there and they can still own like you yeah. do with houses you know yeah absolutely so that's that, that, yeah. that's the idea and people that use it renters can yeah. benefit but also platform because we as a protocol can basically share the fees that we could collect okay. with those protocols and platform and okay. we accelerate their development because yes. they don't have to implement on their own right so there are many many Right. Uh, so many ways, aspects, yeah, right? many aspects yeah. from from yeah. the users, from the owners, from yeah, the right. platforms. Yes, 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 yes. Th that's what absolutely wonderful, right? And for those audience out there, one example to help them understand, which is this big concept of sharing economy, right? Like within the last like 15, 20 years, right? Uber and like you talking yeah. about like the housing, which is Airbnb. You have a type of asset that you are now using it in this moment so you can actually use that asset to generate Excellent. income for yourself yeah. right and maybe yeah. in the past that asset is a car or a house which is tangible that you can physically touch it but now this asset turned into digital which is yeah. an nft that you can use this nft digital asset to generate more income for yourself and also how the whole entire ecosystem yeah, yeah. to benefit and to grow at the same time. Yeah, which absolutely. With rentable, your NFT that you know today is not generating any sort of income. Yes. Now is generating something, so mm -hmm. you can use that NFT also as collateral for asking for a loan. So imagine yes. if you have a house that is generating yes. you know an income because there is someone that live yeah. lives in yeah. and pay a rental for you. You can go yeah. to your bank and maybe yeah. you want uh, a car uh, yeah. uh, or maybe buy a restaurant or whatever right. you, yes. you want. Yes. And you ask for a loan saying, you know, my guarantee is that I have someone that paid right. me the rent. Yes, that's it. I think that's absolutely brilliant. And you mentioned to me earlier that you are going to be speaking at NFT Berlin. Yeah, absolutely. We were invited by 1KX for yeah. the track of uh, NFT financialization, obviously. Right. 
And so we are going to give for sure a speaker of how Rentable works. Right. But we are planning, and uh, maybe this is an, an anticipation, that yeah. we are providing also a workshop. So people that ah. come to NFT Berlin can try with their own hands what we yeah. are preparing and what we are doing also with other protocols. Right, right. Wow, this is such an exciting time. OK, cool. With that said, tell us where can people follow Rentable, where can people follow yeah, you? Yeah, please follow us on Twitter, Rentable World. And provide. Uh, I mean, we are going to launch next week, so yeah. keep on the notification and try us. Please try us because early user will be definitely rewarded yeah. at some point. Okay. But we need your feedback. Yes. With your feedback, we grow. I mean, and build features on top of you. Yes, absolutely. Because as in this ecosystem, in this whole community and family, is so much about yeah, yeah. ongoing conversations. Give. Yeah, you have to give. Right. And you will definitely receive back yes. at some point. Yes. Well, with that said, thank you so much. And can't wait to see you in Berlin. Let's do yeah. another one then. <laughs> All right. Keep Absolutely. in touch. Thank you so much, my Thank friend. you. Thank All you for right. the opportunity. All right. Ciao, everybody. Bye. Ciao. Ciao. I'm personally very happy and excited about sharing with everybody this interview because we filmed this in Milan and talked with the Italian and then really we had this friendly chatting vibe which is the direction and the vibes of my new videos are moving towards, right? So I'm just super excited and I hope you truly enjoy this and subscribe my channel. Make sure to go check him out on GitHub, go follow him on Twitter.